Hello guys, you know what, previous couple of vlogs were all about traveling and actually we are again in the very same lounge as we were in the previous uh, vlog, so I think that's been just enough of it. I think this vlog is just perfect for us to show you a little bit around Brno Circuit. Welcome to the next vlog and guys please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment on our video. But let's go now. You know, this morning I already made one lap running around the circuit, doing some, or actually two laps running around the circuit and doing some exercises, but we documented that all for you as well, because uh, showing you around the circuit means showing you the circuit and the infield or actual service road as well, right? So have a look at it and meanwhile I'll get changed to my regular clothes. Laps got me really tired. We arrived really late yesterday night and this morning I haven't had a breakfast yet. But luckily we are here in a great hotel. So I'll show you a little bit of this suit and the views from the suit. So, uh, well, you can consider it as a place to stay next time you come to Brno. But before that, I would like to announce that there is a big uh, giveaway of Arizona sunglasses. So whoever can give me the right answer down in the comments, how long is the Brno circuit actually? It counts just in kilometers or meters, so no miles, please. So comment below and uh, we'll send the sunglasses to the lucky one. try to stay a night but you know what I managed to steal a universal key for most of the doors around the circuit so let's go and explore I'm standing right now right on the edge of the 21st century and 1980 I think something because this is the old shooting range and this is the new hotel let's go and explore it's not really being used but we've got so many plans with it we are thinking about a rehabilitation center we are thinking about some wellness we are thinking about a sporting center. Of course, we want to maintain the shooting range. It all is so expensive and the budgets are pretty thin, so it's really difficult to manage it. But hopefully once in the future. Look at the beautiful area behind me. This is the shooting range and it's not the only one at the circuit. So, you know, yeah, it's unused, true, but I mean, if we renovated it, it's pretty expensive. But I believe that in the future it will happen and this uh, might be one of the best shooting ranges in the area here. But I got a question for you. How come there are so many shooting ranges here in Czech Republic? Is it like, is it safe at all or is it just yeah. flat out dangerous? Well, no, I would say Czech Republic is overall a uh, pretty safe place. Wait, hey, hey, get out of the car, get out of the... <laughs> How was it? Wait, now I have to check if everything is okay. Because they would be really pissed off if they saw me doing it. <laughs> it is 600 pieces! 600? 600! Holy shit! So behind me we've got a main building. Let's go and have a look. There is a race direction, there is the offices, and there is the tower. So timekeeping as well. Let's go ahead and have a look. Race control. Eintritt verboten. But we'll go in anyway. You maniac. We gotta be really quiet in there, because they are working, or they are looking like they are working. So we'll just film a little bit to show you what it looks like in there. <laughs> Jenom když tak řekni startovní. 
too many stairs. <laughs> Agreed. Top of the tower. Unfortunately, my magic key doesn't work to that door, so we'll show you just from this window. But this is the commentating and timekeeping station. We couldn't take you to the timekeeping and the commentating booth, which is actually below us, but we could take you up to the roof. I can see the stairs were there, so why not to get up to the roof? Yeah, this beautiful view. So it is a bank holiday today, so this place is pretty empty. But otherwise, this is the offices. So this is the main offices of a director of the circuit. You may remember this bike from one of our previous vlogs. This is the foyer and these are just the offices of the directors and managers of the, of the circuit. There is quite a few people working around here, obviously, because it's very difficult to direct and to just lead such a big thing like the whole circuit. <laughs> you fucked that one up really good. You're filming? Yeah. Did you just see what happened? No, unfortunately not. I was behind the door trying my magic key and it didn't work. So I started swearing real bad. <laughs> and then the door back and push push the door push. back back. <laughs> and in that moment somebody else opened the door because they've got a big meeting there, so they must have heard me. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a quick sneak peek into the room. So we've got a many different motorcycle schools that we do here at the circuit of Brno. Some beautiful people are the teachers and some really ugly bastards are the teachers too, but you know, you can't help it. So anyway, this is a road motorcycle school and a road motorcycle school. Uh, motorcycle school of how to ride your, how to wheelie your bike and how to make all the bullshit with the bike, which is so much fun. And a scooter school. So uh, all of these products, most of them I do attend. I'm there as a teacher or as just a helper or something. It's I fun. have a question, sir. Yes, sir. This good, good guy, I don't know who he is, but... Yes, it's Carlos. He scratched his knee pad on this BMW scooter. That is this really is good job. This is a scam. This is a scam because <laughs> he's actually riding with the very same leathers, our normal road school, so... <laughs> he's not touching. I am touching. He's not touching. <laughs> you know what this is? I think it's a petrol station. You're very... How do you say fun? You're I'm very bright. Clever. You're very bright. Yes. So here you get your uh, petrol. Or the fuel. Racing. Or diesel. They even have a diesel. They have here. diesel too? It's yes, not but film not me, but a petrol station. Then they won't be able to hear you. That's okay. I don't want nobody to hear me. Sure. Yes. I'm not. All right. I think we have seen enough. You're filming? This is MotoGP on Scooter Edition. <laughs> A little more. It's very easy to crash though. <laughs> yes. So it looks like we just got into the middle of the forest, but the truth is somewhere else. We are just in front of our restaurant showing you what it looks like inside. <laughs> the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> You, I my father say, is sending there. You're usually pretty good with those transitions, but I, this time it was just... No, like, it was funny. It's good. <laughs> it was messy. So now we are on our little off-road track. I'll go around just with this little scooter to show you how it looks. So I'll use this amazing GoPro to give you authentic point of view. Let's go. Can't stop me now. so really early but I gotta head to Prague I got a couple of meetings which will uh, hopefully bring some sponsors for this or next year like we really need them so I made a cup of coffee for my girlfriend get in a car and drive on our beautiful D1 highway <laughs> all the way up to Prague so see, see you, you later. in the next one guys <laughs>